Happy Holidays, Lord of the Rings fans! I'm Ryan the Cyber Hobbit, and this video is going to be a little bit different. If you're a Lord of the Rings collector, and you're a fan of Weta Workshop, more than likely you know that this year Weta updated their website. And while some things were improved, they had a little bit, uh, let's just say, trouble with certain things. So if you've read the title of this video, you've read that I fixed Weta Workshop's website. That's a little bit clickbaity. I fixed an issue with Weta Workshop's website. An issue that I guess I got frustrated enough to take a little bit of time over my holiday and see if I could attempt to fix it. I wrote a Firefox extension, a uh, helper for the browser. Just, I guess you could say. If you don't know what Firefox is, I'm sure you know what maybe Safari or Chrome is. Firefox is just another brand of that. I made a Firefox extension that fixes an issue that I have really been kind of frustrated with for a while now and decided that it was time to do something about it. And so that's what this video is about. This video is, I guess, going to serve as an explanation of what this fix does. And no, it doesn't solve all of the main issues that Weta has mentioned that they have. But it solves an issue that, again, has been frustrating me enough to make me and force me to do something about it because I knew that I could. guess let's uh, get into what exactly the issue is and then I will show you how I fixed it. So if you take a look right here, you can see I am logged into my account on Weta's website. And if you look right here, I'm on the My Orders page, and you can see, uh, I guess, the last 10 orders that I've made on Weta's website. If you notice, every single item that's listed here has a price the date you ordered it, the order number, a status, and then an action. What's missing from this scenario? Wouldn't it be great if you could see what the order was? <laughs> um, something that I really don't understand how they wouldn't have known that this could have been really important to know. Um, but it's something that um, has bothered me that it is not here. So also, um, besides the My Orders page, there is the Pre-Orders and Payment Plans page that also has this same exact issue where they list the item number and that's it. You have no idea what this particular item is. To take it a step further, if you click on the view button they have over here on the right, um, wait for it to load, it'll tell you again the order number and a breakdown of you know payment plans and stuff that you have for uh, this item. But again, what's missing? The name of the item. So. Um, my fix doesn't fix particularly this page, but currently the only way that you can know what a certain item is, is to first look right here, find the order, or sorry, find the ID number, which in this instance is 09. Then you have to go over to the My Orders page, click there, and then you have to find the matching order number, which happens to be right here. This won't always be, I think, in the same order. Maybe it is, but anyway. You have to find the matching order number. Then you can click on View Order, which will then take you to a page that finally reveals what the name of the item is. So um, I know that uh, this probably isn't that big of a deal for a lot of people. But if you collect a lot of things and you have, like me, um, multiple pages of pre-orders and things that you are maybe doing a payment plan on, or maybe uh, Weta has announced that there was an issue with one of your cards 
and you need to go update your information and make a payment on a certain order number, you have to figure out which things are which, and as it stands, there's no easy way to know what that is. Um, if you're on the actual My Orders page itself, yes, this issue is prevalent here, but it's just, again, one click away to see what the item is. The, the main purpose of this extension, although it does fix the My Orders page, is really for the Pre-Orders and Payment Plans page. So this is the page where I have numerous times now gone in, known the order ID number, and thought, oh, okay, I need to, um, you know, I have $452 remaining on this order, but what is this order number? And then I click on view, and then I don't know what this order is, so I don't really know, you know, if my priority of I wanted to pay for certain items now or, or later or whatever. So again, I made a Firefox extension that fixes this to a certain extent. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just load up on another screen where I can install uh, my development of this uh, Firefox extension. And I'm going to click on Run. So now at the top of the screen, you'll now notice there's an orange bar. If you look over here at the right hand side, you just saw a progress uh, going by. And now when it's done, it says item names have been added. And now if you look down on the page, you can see what my fix has done. It has added back in the names of the items that you have pre-ordered. Crazy, right? <laughs> Um, you can even change it to you know display all of the items and again it will reload and then it will go and find that information and then when it's done right here it will then add it back in here so again um, this isn't that big of a change this isn't that big of a fix but it's one of those things that um, if you're like me and you're just wanting to have a better clearer from a bird's eye view of what exactly is going on that with your pre-orders, then now you can uh, see it. So um, again, this is a Firefox extension. Um, if there's enough requests to do so, I'll maybe look into doing it for Chrome as well. Um, I believe it's not really that much different than uh, the Firefox extension, so maybe I'll just do it anyway. But um, I'll have a link to where you can go and install this extension in the description of this video. And so, yeah, if, you're want, if you want to have a easier time looking at your pre-orders, um, then there you go. Uh, just as, I guess, a little background of how this extension is working, I'm not necessarily hacking in to what a workshop's website and pulling information out. I am doing something that's called web scraping. So web scraping is essentially um, where you load uh, websites, you load pages of websites, and you look through the HTML code that is returned to you. Uh, the HTML is what makes a website look the way that it does. Um, essentially, I am loading additional pages of what is web website in the background, and I am looking through the HTML, finding the name, finding the order number it matches to, and then adding them together. I'm also going to include a link in the description of this video to a GitHub where you can see the, it's about a hundred lines or so of code that I wrote that does all this. This was again just a thing that I spent a couple hours um, over the holiday when I had some free time and decided to try to, yeah, make a little quick fix. So again, um, since this is web scraping, um, I guess I should mention that this relies on Weta's website existing as it is. If Weta goes and changes their website or does something that moves certain things around it's going to end up breaking my extension but you know um hopefully this could serve as a uh 
let's say, I don't want to say wake up call, but uh, <laughs> a reminder to Weta that there's some pretty vital information that they could provide that could make things just a little bit easier. I actually did reach out uh, before I looked into ever doing this um, to Weta to ask them, hey, you know, it'd be great if you could add the order names next to the order uh, numbers. And I never really heard back. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you find this helpful, then you can install it in your Firefox browser. Um, I'm not really sure if it will work on mobile. It's really more meant for the desktop browser, though um, I'll do some double checking and uh, if it has any issues, I'll try to attempt to make it work on mobile. But for right now, it's really just meant for the desktop and for, again, the Firefox browser. So uh, again, you can go to the description, you'll find a link to a place where you can go and install this extension into your Firefox. And then when you activate it for just the My Orders page and for just the Pre-Orders Payment Plans page, you'll be able to see the orange bar at the top and where you can, you know, uh, verify that it's working or whatever. If you go to like, you know, other pages of the website, nothing shows up. Um, it's really only for, like if I go to the other uh, main site, nothing, you'll, you won't see anything loaded and nothing's happening uh, behind the scenes if you're not on any of those particular pages. You need to be on the My Orders page or the Pre-Orders and Payment Plans page. So again, um, I know this is a really weird video, but um, I thought that it might be really useful to help explain through a video what this extension does so that way maybe it could help people at, feel a little bit more at ease installing some random programmers uh invention so um yeah that pretty much wraps it up um if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up um if you appreciate what i've done here and uh you use it let me know in the comments it'd be really cool to find out people um, like it. And again, Weta, fix this issue on your side. Make this extension completely irrelevant. It, it doesn't seem like it should be too much more work to do if someone like me can in just a couple hours write a hundred lines of code and fix an issue like this. Again, I know Weta, you have tons of things that you that you have going on, and I know you have other issues on the website you're probably prioritizing. But again, this was just an issue that, um, yeah, I thought that I could solve, and I have, and I made a way that I can share it with other people. So I've done so. So, um, yeah, have a good day. Bye bye.